Just state election, Oshomole, Obaseki, and political power play. The race for Edo State 2024 is on the way and set the stage for aspiring candidates who are now actively consulting ahead of the party primary scheduled for February 2024. INEC has set a date for the governorship election in the state on September 21, 2024. The battleground is set for a showdown between major political players, primarily the ruling People's Democratic Party, the opposition All Progressive Congress APC, and the emerging force, the Labour Party. All this is coming up at the heart of its political storm, at the aspiration and ambitions of so many, especially within the APC with 29 aspirants vying for the APC ticket in a state where the People's Democratic Party currently holds power. Additionally, the like, Liberal Party, LP, having secured victory in the presidential elections the previous year, is also gearing up for a significant role in the upcoming state election. The APC party has abandoned the traditional zoning system, opting instead for direct primaries. The issue of rotational governance in Edo State is gaining more attention, particularly with a strong sentiment from the Edo Central Senatorial District for the successor of Governor Obaseki, as the two other zones have occupied the number one seat of power. Although there is no formal agreement on rotation. The sentiment among the Asian people is strong. The sentiment is now a focal point in the political landscape. Amidst this, aspirant Asue Igodalo, a notable figure in the business and former chairman of Sterling Bank, brings rich credentials to the race. His unique announcement emphasizing bridging gaps and layers of distrust, positioning himself as a unifier, Igodalo, having worked closely with last two administration in Edo State, expresses commitment to delivering good governance if given the party's ticket. Citing his experience with both Oshomole and Obaseki's administration, he is sure to have the people's mind. Let's move towards Deputy Governor Philip Schwaibu, becoming a key player in Edo State politics. His strength shown in how he deals with intimidation brings a human side to the political scene. Shuaibu is confident in the organic support he has and his comments on the return of God Federalism highlight the complex power struggles in Edo politics. His words show his resilience and his refusal to give in to pressure. Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki has declared that he has no favored successor less than a year before the governorship election scheduled for September 24, 2024. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has set its date for the election with numerous aspirants in the mix, including Obaseki's deputy, Philip Shibo, who has a, declared his intention to contest tensions have risen within the political landscape. Obaseki and Shibo had a public falling out over Shribe's ambition, leading to legal actions and a subsequent apology for Shribe after the intervention of elders in the state. When asked about supporting his deputy's bid, Obaseki emphasized, only the Edo people would decide and assert that he would not endorse anything unfair or unjust. This suggests that zoning could play a crucial role in the upcoming election. Regarding the issue of God Federalism, Obaseki acknowledged the importance of nurturing and mentoring individuals, but also emphasized the need to avoid excessive control or guidance. The political dynamics in the United State continue to evolve as the countdown to the election progresses. The APC in Edo State faces an interesting mix of old and new faces in the governorship race. Notable aspirants like Pastor Sage, Ize Yamo, and Kazim Afegwa share historical ties with the former governor, making consensus building easier. Notably figures like Sihel Magba, with historical ties to former governor Shomole, enter the scene adding layers to competitive dynamics. The role of leadership, particularly like Adams and Shomole, in managing the party's primaries, become like the focal point. Governor Basaki's reported support for an anointed aspirant is seen as an advantage for the APC. Highlighting the divisions within the PDP, the APC representative sees PDP factions as a weakness, aiming to capitalize on the disunity. 
for the effective preparation in the upcoming primary and gubernatorial contest. As we wrap up the political scene in Indo State, it's turning into an exciting and competitive drama. The dramas clashes, the strategy moves of influential figures like Oshio Mole, Obaseki, and many aspirants paint a picture of political saga that will grab the attention of the people until final hearts in September 2024. Get ready for a political spectacle that will keep us on the edge of our seats. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comment section, and if you haven't subscribed yet, press the subscribe button. Until we we'll see you next time, thank you for watching.